Hey there everyone, this is Zach here. Today, I'm going to show you how to ride these zippers in Mario Kart Wii with a wheelie, also known as a zipper wheelie. To do one, what you need to do is to get parallel to a zipper, and then once you are, start to wheelie. If you're angled correctly, then you'll either be continuously bouncing off the edges of the zipper the whole way down, or, at the very least, you'll be going on and off the very edge a lot less. And then in the case of DK Summit, you want to add a trick at the end to skip the last corner to save even more time. This strategy is useful because you're going close to 120 km per hour with a wheelie versus going below 110 without one. When I remove the zipper wheelie from Blake's world record here for example, I end up losing a decent amount of time. So doing this seems pretty straightforward at first glance. Get parallel to any zipper and bam, wheelie. Uh, no. Just like, well, every strategy in this game, this one is no exception to the rule of it's more complicated than you think. So for starters, whether or not this even works in the first place is heavily dependent on whether or not the zipper is going downward. If you look here at this zipper on Waluigi Stadium, for example, you'll notice it's not going upward or even downward. The whole thing is flat. Meanwhile, on DK Summit, if you look very carefully, it is going slightly downward. The reason this is important is due to one key factor with zippers, and that's when you are on one, it likes to suck you downward. As I'm driving here, for example, I'm stuck here skating the bottom edge. If you were to try to do a zipper wheelie here on Waluigi Stadium, you would find that it's impossible. Once you get parallel to a zipper and activate a wheelie, you will always find yourself going downward. In fact here, once I get back onto the zipper itself, if you notice, I'm gradually moving more leftward, and that's because I'm holding left. However, I'm still stuck at the bottom. Eventually though, I do get back into the air, and that's just because I'm facing far enough to the left that I can finally fight the zipper properly and get off it. However, despite this downward suction, on DK Summit, because the zipper goes down, it ends up being just good enough that you can bounce on the edges here without being dragged down that much, if at all really. There are some other things to keep track of when it's possible to do one. It's important to make sure you're parallel to the zipper first before you start a wheelie. For example, if you're too high when going into the air, you'll find yourself being too low on the zipper to do a proper zipper wheelie when you land, and trying to go back up to get one will a lot of the time result in you getting too much air again. And starting to zipper wheelie too low also complicates things and can really slow you down. These failures can end up costing you a lot of time as a result. Because of this, you may be better off trying for the wheelie later on the zipper or skipping it entirely, depending on the circumstances. One strategy people will do if they start the wheelie, but the alignment isn't working out, is just to cancel it mid-zipper and then ride it without a wheelie to the end. In addition, once you get aligned, generally speaking, you'll want to keep holding right until you reach close to the end to do a trick. As you can see by the input viewer, Holding right will keep you riding on and off the zipper the whole time if you are aligned correctly. This works because once you're in the air, you'll eventually go back down. But holding right continuously moves you to the right, getting you back into the air. You can also hold neutral sometimes and be okay. However, the two issues with this are 1. It means you're more likely to get too low on the zipper eventually. And 2. You can get put into a state where the boost don't work anymore. So while you can start holding neutral, you'll probably want to hold right eventually. And going back to those boosts failing, let's explain why that happens. To get a boost out from a zipper, you need to be in the air for at least 6 frames. If you aren't, then you don't get a boost. Thus, you may sometimes ride the zipper but end up not getting a single boost, despite going on and off the zipper the whole time. And this is obviously way slower than just trying to ride the zipper naturally without a wheelie because those boosts send you over 100 km per hour. Meanwhile, a wheelie without a boost gets you up to 96 at best. If this happens, cancel your wheelie and move up and down gently on the zipper to trigger a boost again. And when you jump off the zipper in the case of DK Summit to do the ending trick, you've got to be careful to not get wheelie locked. If you try to hop while in the air, 
The hop won't come out because hopping only works if you're on the ground. As you can see here by the input viewer, I pressed hop while in the air, thus getting wheelie locked. As a result, I didn't get off the zipper in time to do a trick. Something else I want to bring up. I've noticed that a lot of the time, you can save zippers that start too high if you hop and turn right as soon as you touch the ground. This gets you parallel to the zipper again sometimes, allowing the zipper wheelie to work. It's a very useful backup strat. Some vehicles have an easier time with the zipper wheelie than others. For example, Flame Runner has a pretty easy time with it, even able to recover terrible alignments sometimes. Meanwhile, Mach Bike can do a continuous zipper wheelie, but it requires a more precise alignment to get it working from what I've noticed, and being slightly off tends to mess up the zipper wheelie. Plus, it's still prone to a lot of the same failures Flame Runner can get. However, Spear though can't do a continuous wheelie that easily, requiring the wheelie to be cancelled midway RTA. If you try it with Spear, you'll either stop getting boost, or eventually get too low with the zipper. It is possible though, but it requires tasks basically. In my tasks, I had to do very, very precise movements just to keep the zipper wheelie going. Another zipper on DK Summit where you can do this wheelie is on the first one on the right hand side. Just like the one at the end of DK Summit, this one also slopes downward. When I did the zipper wheelie here, I was actually able to hold neutral on the joystick most of the way down. And that's because if you look, this zipper goes more downward than the ending one, allowing it to be possible while holding neutral. You can still move left or right as need be to stay on the edge of the zipper. And obviously, you can do a zipper wheelie on the left half pipe zipper at the end. As for the other Nintendo tracks, this is the only one where this is possible. All the other ones aren't geared to do zipper wheelies in general, mainly because they're flat like on Waluigi Stadium or just aren't angled the right way to do one. As for custom tracks, one example I can think of is Mansion of Madness. Just like DK Summit, these zippers here also gradually slope downward. Thus, it is possible to ride them in one continuous wheelie. Though getting a smooth zipper right here is more difficult, and that's because with DK Summit, you could easily see where the zipper was when reaching it. Meanwhile, with Mansion of Madness, you have to do a wall glitch with the zipper to get past the turn quickly. This puts the camera in such a way where it's harder to see where to align. Plus, once you land back onto the ground from the wall glitch, you'll often be a lot lower to the zipper, meaning you'll still need to take some time to adjust your line. Maintaining the wheelie on a good line is also pretty tricky with the zipper, so doing stuff like canceling the wheelie to fix a bad alignment may be advised. And there you go! That's how you do zipper wheelies in Mario Kart Wii. It's a nice niche strat that looks very cool, and I'm glad it's a thing. It's not the easiest thing to do at first, but it's straightforward and consistent once you get it down. If you enjoyed watching today's video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel to get more content like this in Mario Kart Wii. Thank you so much for watching everyone and have a great day!